The Social Atmosphere Movement is a leaderless initiative, serving as the open-source counterpart to the Zeitgeist Movement, or an unofficial, independent, and pirate version of the Zeitgeist Movement and the Venus Project. My goal is to share educational content wherever possible to inform and encourage critical thinking in society, ultimately working towards world peace. A key component of the social atmosphere movement is an open source version of the documentary Zeitgeist, Moving Forward, titled System Shift. The purpose of System Shift is to provide a documentary that promotes the ideals of the Zeitgeist movement without being restricted by copyright, thereby allowing it to be freely distributed to advocate for a resource-based economy. You are encouraged to download System Shift and upload it to your YouTube or Facebook accounts to help spread the idea of a resource-based economy. You are also welcome to edit System Shift to improve it, such as by updating its scientific sources to make a more compelling case for a scientifically-based society as opposed to the religiously-based market society we currently live in. A link is provided in the description. This open-source approach has also been applied to the video and intro to a resource-based economy, where copyright is aggressively enforced by the zeitgeist movement. In response, what is an open-source society was created as an open-source alternative that promotes the same ideas. This video is also linked in the description. While I agree with the ideas of the Zeitgeist Movement and the Venus Project, I do not support the official Zeitgeist Movement due to its aggressive enforcement of copyright, which I believe is not in line with the peaceful values it professes. The Social Atmosphere Movement, unlike the Zeitgeist Movement or the Venus Project, does not believe in copyright. Copyright, as it currently exists, fails to recognize that any combination of ideas a human or AI can create is, metaphorically speaking, owned by God, Mother Earth, or reality itself. Our reality has already allowed for any combination that a human can conceive, and this fact should be respected. Nature operates through copying, and humans learn by copying. It is arrogant for anyone to claim ownership of any particular combination, whether it be writing, music, video, color, musical note, etc. This arrogance exists solely to make money. In addition to the Social Atmosphere Movement Facebook page, I also manage a pirate library where I share audiobooks on Facebook. My pirate library is like a digital street library. I appreciate street libraries for their open promotion of education and reading. They are akin to stashes in the Stalker game series, but with educational resources. The danger of copyright is vividly portrayed in George Orwell's novel 1984, where the Ingsoc party claims ownership of the idea that 2 plus 2 equals 4. The main character, Winston Smith, is tortured until he believes that 2 plus 2 equals 5. This is the extreme consequence of fighting piracy. Ingsoc's claim over 2 plus 2 equals 4 as intellectual property is a way of controlling thought, preventing the idea from existing in any other mind, thereby maintaining their grip on power. Copyright cannot be discussed without acknowledging that it is a product of the market or trade. The Zeitgeist film series critiques money and the banking system, but money itself is a product of trade or business. Trade is often advertised as an equal exchange where both parties benefit. However, in reality, trade is a form of covert violence, where both parties attempt to use deception to gain the upper hand. Trade occurs in environments of scarcity. It is in scarcity-driven, market-based environments that violence arises. Poverty leads to violence. The poor suffer from material poverty, while the rich experience spiritual poverty, constantly acquiring more material possessions in the futile hope that buying more will bring happiness. What truly makes people happy and peaceful is equality, which fosters good social relations. The market's social relations are poor. This concept is explored in the book The Spirit Level by Richard Wilkinson, which is available on the Social Atmosphere Movement Facebook page, linked in the description. Religion, politics, and the market are essentially the same thing, different forms of ignorance. The media scapegoats the most violent offenders in society, murderers, rapists, arsonists, vandals, etc., but it does not critique the environment that shapes human behavior. The market is assumed, at a near-religious level, to be the perfect social system for humans. 
In reality, human behavior is a product of both genetics and environment. The media and the general public often claim that an individual is solely responsible for their actions, which is scientifically inaccurate. We mistakenly blame individuals for their actions instead of blaming the conditions in which they live. As a result, the police punish the poor for being poor while rewarding the rich for inflicting violence on the poor. Blaming the conditions would mean that the government, large corporations, and the wealthy would have to relinquish their power. However, this would be beneficial not only for the public, but also for those in power. Human beings are not inherently responsible for their behavior, their environment is. If the environment is changed to be supportive, uplifting, and helpful, human behavior will improve accordingly. This phenomenon is discussed in the film Hell's Bells 2, where it is referred to as the broken window effect. Disorder and crime are often inextricably linked. For example, signs of disorder, such as a broken window, encourage more disorder, like graffiti and other vandalism. In other words, human behavior is influenced by the environment. One effective method to discourage violence, for instance, has been playing classical music in public spaces like train stations. You can research this as a deterrent to violent crime. According to this logic, more beautiful physical art, rather than the ugliness of modern art, would further decrease violence and encourage civility. Modern art is a crime, as its message of ugliness conveys hopelessness, meaninglessness, and the framing of the disgusting is beautiful. Modern art and architecture are signs of communism. This is evident in the movie versions of 1984, where the ugliness of government buildings contrasts with the beauty displayed in the room above the junk shop. As paraphrased in the documentary Why Beauty Matters, beauty creates conditions that make a place feel like home. Violence is not a legal or justice issue. It is a public health issue, as stated by James Gilligan in Zeitgeist, moving forward. Violence results from a cycle of abuse, which stems from unmet human needs. In Australia, there is always enough money to build submarines, yet never enough to combat poverty. The market is a war machine. Its motivation is constant preparation for war, not maintaining goodness or peace. This is because the market is based on scarcity. The market profits from its own destructive nature. Large corporations promote a malicious competitive advantage over the general public, inflicting subtle violence in various ways. One example is profiting from addiction. The market creates stressful conditions. Social competition is stressful. These stressful conditions not only lead to poor public health, but also drive people to addiction to drugs and destructive behaviors as a means of coping with stress. Since destruction and scarcity are profitable, a cigarette corporation, for example, will profit from destroying someone's health. A good book on addiction is in the realm of hungry ghosts, which can also be found on the Social Atmosphere Movement Facebook page. To summarize, trading, even in its seemingly fair or equal forms, perpetuates covert violence. Trading mathematically ensures monopoly and a hierarchical society and harms public health for both rich and poor. Politics, as an outgrowth of trade, cannot fundamentally improve matters in the long run. Our social problems stem from ignorance and blind belief, not inherent human nature. I view trading as inherently conspiratorial and seek alternatives to create a more equitable society. The social atmosphere movement challenges existing systems and aims for a fairer, more informed world.